A central Queensland turtle rehabilitation centre has celebrated a milestone, releasing its 100th turtle back into the ocean. The animals are nursed to health on an island off the coast of Gladstone with the help of staff and volunteers. Meet Roxanne. She's a green sea turtle between 10 and 15 years old. She's crawling back to the ocean for the first time in months after recovering from a virus. She's just really great to see her finally be released and be healthy and be active and it's just fantastic knowing that we've helped with that. Roxy is the hundredth turtle released back into the wild by the Coin Island Rehabilitation Facility. It's located offshore from Gladstone, an area that's been hit by natural disasters in recent years. It's clear that, that the major cyclones created the environmental um, dramas that we had with turtles in, and dugong and yeah, and even, even all the fish lie. Turtles from as far north as Mackay and all the way down to Bundaberg are sent to this centre when they're sick. It costs about $5,000 to nurse each turtle back to health. The next facility is in, on the Sunshine Coast and further north you have to go as far as Townsville. So we really cover the bulk of you know, the larger part of Queensland coast here and I think we'd be the most active of all the rehab centres in the number of animals that we get through. On average, these turtles stay here in rehab for about three months or until they're properly feeding and diving again. The animals are usually just sick with a virus, but sometimes have major trauma from boat strikes. We always say that. We just hope that we never see them again, unfortunately. That, but that's a good thing that, yeah, we've done the right thing and they're back at their home. Another two turtles housed at the facility will be released later this week. Jonathan Hare, ABC News, Coin Island.